Bitcoin. 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 Bitcoin mania seems to have gripped the world as the digital currency's price has reached astronomical levels. Seven years ago, you could buy one Bitcoin for 10 cents. Now it will cost you more than $10,000. But what exactly is Bitcoin? And why has its price gone so high? Put simply, it's a digital currency that can be used to buy and sell things. But it's got some key differences from real cash. First of all, there are no coins and no notes. Bitcoin exists only online. Secondly, there's no government and no central bank controlling the supply of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is produced through a system known as mining by supercomputers. All transactions are then stored on what's known as a blockchain, which is held in thousands of different places to help keep things secure. Supporters of Bitcoin argue that blockchain technology is revolutionary and that Bitcoin will one day largely replace traditional money. They argue that this means that its value is even higher than its current high value suggests. It's true you can use Bitcoin a lot more widely than you used to be able to. You can buy software from Microsoft, holidays from Expedia, even albums from Bjork. But it's still a long, long way from being truly mainstream. So we're getting to the, the, the close of a bubble phase. A lot of experts say that Bitcoin is experiencing a classic financial bubble. It will burst, they say. The only question is when. So far, Bitcoin has been a victim of its own success. It's been hugely popular as an investment, largely based on the fact that one day it will be widely used as a currency. But this popularity actually makes it work really, really badly as a currency. Money is supposed to hold its value so that when you go to the shops, you know roughly how much you're going to spend. But Bitcoin has been going up 10, 20% in a single day and then crashing just as fast, making it pretty much impossible to put a reliable price on anything. Such huge rises means there's actually a big disincentive to buy something with it. Why hand over a precious Bitcoin today when it could be worth loads more tomorrow? This may not matter in the short term. Ultimately, the value of anything is set by what people are willing to pay for it. And if loads more people jump onto the Bitcoin craze, the price could go higher and higher. But in the long term, if the currency isn't able to do the thing it was designed to do, the Bitcoin bubble might just burst.